Hi there, this is Ranjit from tech2bus.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to migrate data from a one Synology NAS to another Synology NAS. For example, let's say uh, you have an old Synology NAS, now you have bought a new faster Synology NAS, how will you migrate the data? For example, we'll take the old disk and put it in the new NAS. Or for example, let's say you have an old Synology NAS, that's a two-bay NAS and now you have purchased a four-bay NAS. So we're going to uh, migrate the data, that is move the disk from the old NAS to the new NAS. Again, uh, you need to be careful while uh, doing this procedure. And actually Synology has made a support document regarding the same. I'll have the links for that in the show notes. So let's proceed with this. For example, uh, for this demo, I'm going to use uh, the old NAS uh, that I'm using is a two-bay Synology NAS and the new NAS that we have is a four-way NAS. So let's see the procedure. And the first thing that we need to do before we proceed is log into our old Synology NAS. For example, for me, it's the DS212J. And here, I just go to this backup and restore. And it's a good idea to make a configuration backup because uh, the data should stay intact, but uh, uh, some of the configuration files like shared folders, users, uh, rights etc might not to be restored so it's a good idea to back up the configuration file now and as you can see uh, this is the information that is going to get backed up and just save this dss file and uh, one thing to notice that make sure that the file saved is dss go to your explorer and check that because some of the if you're using a what's uh, for example let's say a uh, file download manager sometimes it does not get saved properly so make sure the extension is dss now this is done, so I can close this and I'll show you the next step. Now you can just uh, shut down this NAS because we're going to physically move the disks that are in this NAS to the new NAS. So these are the two NASs. The current NAS that I'm using is a two-bay NAS, that's a DS212J. And we're going to migrate the two disks that we have in this NAS to this four-bay NAS. And as you can see, this is a four-bay NAS and uh, all the data is intact here. Again. Do note that uh, the disk structure that I use is SHR, the Synology Hybrid RAID. So if you are using any other custom RAID like RAID 5, etc., please consult with Synology. And the first thing that you will do is, uh, I hope that you have made the backup configuration file uh, that I showed earlier. And now I'm going to open up this. And one thing that is important is, you need to take out your NAS and locate which disk is disk 1 and disk 2. For example, on this DS212J, the top disk is hard drive 1 and the second is the hard drive 2. So it's a good idea to mark it down. For example, for us, this is the first drive. So I'll just mark it as first because it is advisable that the first disk goes in the first bay and the second disk goes in the second bay. So now I'll just remove these and mount it to this uh, four bay NAS and I'll be back. Another thing that you need to remember is that you cannot do this procedure if, let's say, for example, uh, uh, you had a 4-bay NAS and you are moving to a 2-bay NAS. That can't be done. Uh, it, for example, if you have a 2-bay NAS, you can move to a higher grade 2-bay NAS, but the reverse is not possible. And also Synology says that if you are using a single-bay model of Synology NAS, then also this migration of just moving the disk uh, is not recommended and not possible. So again, make sure that you read the document that's in the show notes. Now I have removed the disk from the old uh, disk station and mounted here and I will mount it back on the new uh, disk station again. I'm making sure that I've marked the disk one as disk one and that will go in the first bay and correspondingly the second disk will go in the second bay. All the data will be in, should be intact but we need to reinstall the DSM and all the package and Synology says uh, for example some of the data like uh, if you're using MySQL databases or uh, photo station and uh, surveillance station uh, that data might uh, get lost so now we'll install the DSM but all your files etc users stores etc should be intact so let's uh, move ahead and install the DSM now we need to connect the new NAS that uh, we have put the drives in and connect it to your network and boot it on. It might take some time for it to boot. Uh, let it boot and uh, now we need to install the, the DSM on that. Before that, you need to download the Synology Assistant which will allow us to detect the NAS on our network and also the DSM. For us, the new model is the DS412 Plus. I've already downloaded the DSM and the Synology Assistant. 
I'm using a Mac, so the screens will be a little bit different, but the procedure is going to be exactly similar. So I just fire up the Synology uh, Assistant and it should help us in locating our NAS. For example, as you can see, it has quickly located the, the station and uh, I just select that and now we are going to install the DSN on this NAS. And as you can see, it says that you have backed up our drives and uh, we are migrating. And as we are migrating from our old NAS, we need to use this migration option. And again, uh, it uh, gives us the information. And it says that some of the data will be lost. For details, you can click this uh, migration tutorial. I'm going to hit next. And uh, I already have the DSN, so I'm just going to use that file. It's in my download folder. And this is the part file. That's the DSM file. I'm going to choose that and hit next. And we need to give the uh, password. So I'm going to give that. Please don't forget this, the password that you give. And I'm going to name this um, Synology NAS as DS412 plus. And we're going to install it. And again, this procedure will take some time depending upon your internet connection. If you're downloading it, it has to download it and install it. And once this is done, I'll continue. And it has uploaded and now it will take about roughly about eight to 10 minutes and it's going to reboot the NAS now. So be patient, do not interrupt this process. And now the Synology NAS has actually rebooted. It took about five to six minutes. And now we should be able to log in back use the admin password that you have given and now it's logging in and as you can see we are back to our DSM and uh, let me just open the finder now and we should be able to see our DSM and I need to connect to that and as you can see all my data is intact in fact, I had about almost two years worth of data on the Synology NAS and as you can see, it should be intact here. As you can see, all my data is intact. For example, these are my YouTube videos, all the YouTube videos that I have. Uh, the NAS might be a little bit slow now because it's going to re-index all the files again and you also might have to install uh, any third party packages that you might have installed earlier. So you need to go to the packet center and you need to install them again. But all your data as we have seen, for example, here uh, is there. For example, let me just uh, play back one of the uh, my YouTube videos that uh, was on the NAS. And as you can see, Hi there, this is that Raji data Chantel is intact. Some more things that you might need to do is uh, you might need to click on this and as you can see we need to update the packages they are out of sync so you might need to do that also one more thing if you notice is that uh, the NAS uh, is right now allocated a random IP using DHCP server so if you were using a, a what do you say static IP you might need to set that and I would say that uh, it makes your life easier if you are already on a network so for that just go to the network and here you go to the network interface and here as you can see it's getting the IP by DHCP server and it's a good idea to set up it via a manual IP. I was using this IP so I have set that up and uh, I don't use IPv6 right now and I just hit apply and now the admin interface will be at 192.168.1.100. And now you have even set up your network to the old IP address that you might be using with your older Synology NAS. And as you can see, it's loading the DSM interface now to the new IP address. That's 192.168.1.100. So this is how you move this from one Synology NAS to another Synology NAS uh, while still keeping the data intact. If you found this video helpful, I'll appreciate if you can click the like button. Also, if you notice this Synology NAS has four base and currently we are just using two disks. We can actually expand the capacity of this NAS by adding more disks. If you want that I make a video about that, let me know in the comment section and I'll try to do that. That's it for now. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video.